All right, so here we are in the new detached garage. This is the two-car garage that's separate from the house. Uh, a lot of room in here, as you can tell. Um, and it's kind of ironic because I didn't want to show you this last episode because of how dirty it was in here. And, um, well, it's actually more dirty than it was then. So uh, joke's on me for that one. But we're going to have to use this garage because I'm running out of space in the attached garage. So we're going to wor uh, work over here today. We're going to be taking apart the transmission. Uh, kind of the whole reason I started this build was because the transmission had blown for the fifth time. So uh, the gears are just shot in that transmission. But it does have a, a, an M Factory aftermarket limited slip differential. Uh, I do need to take that out of that transmission and put it into the new transmission. So that's what we're going to do today and we're going to do it in this garage. Before we get started on this episode, I just wanted to talk to you guys about a little problem we've been facing as our channel gets bigger. We've been having issues with third parties claiming royalties on our videos because of some music that we've chosen to use. We have rights to all of the music on our videos and we'll be fighting the claims appropriately. However, in protest to that, we decided to make this video completely without music. Please let me know how you think of the new editing format in the comments below on this video so we can continue to improve the quality of our video for you all, the viewers. Thank you for staying with us through this little PSA, now back to the episode. how light this transmission is. I'm not that strong and I can lift it like that. Hey, we have a charged battery. Sweet. I'm getting a punch. And the punches are in the drawer. There they are. Haha. <laughs> I don't remember what size it was, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take them all. Hits! Hits! Ah! Not gonna work. Ah, why does this have to be so hard? Ah! Why did I target this much? Oh wait, I'm weak. I'm going to try to take that transmission apart and take that limited slip differential and put it into that transmission. between a brake bar and a hammer. I don't know why, but I usually go for the hammer. It just seems easier to me. I love electric impacts so much. Done. So awesome. This looks really good. Wow. This fork looks really, really clean. Which makes me think this might have been rebuilt. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <coughs> wow. That's really good, actually. So this transmission was definitely rebuilt at some point in its life. Um, as we saw, the outer side of this transmission didn't look good. The inside looks fantastic. This is a factory diff. This diff is not strong at all. Shift it. Other direction. 
So now it was time to clear off all the gasket material that was on the transmission. I had to clean this off completely and entirely to make sure that there were no imperfections because I'm going to put new gasket material on this and I wanted to make sure that it seals very well and that it didn't have any leaks. After I put new sealant onto the transmission and bolted it back together, I started to clean the outside of the transmission. Since I'm about to paint it, I didn't want any grease on the transmission because I wanted the paint to be able to actually stick. So I got the transmission fully clean. Um, at least clean to the best of my abilities. It's really hard to get all this grease and stuff off of it, but I think I did a pretty good job. It almost looks new here on the top. I spent most of the time here because this is obviously, you know, on top of the transmission, it sits about like that. Um, and so that's what I wanted to be cleanest. Um, <clears throat> definitely on the top. This here is on the back. You can tell it's a little dirtier there. I didn't spend as much time, but it's also grooved. So it's really hard to uh, get that clean there. Um, but the worst part here is the bottom. <laughs> Obviously, because that's where all the uh, fluids come down and drain. You can see a little bit of dust or, uh, you know, a little bit of grease here and there and in these cracks. And, you know, I did, I did my absolute best. I'm going to paint it now. First coat to uh, check out and see how it does. All right, so that's the first coat done. Um, I, uh... Alright, soft spot there. That's the first part that's done, um, the first coat anyway. Uh, you know, I'm gonna I can take this off now. Hello. Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna wait for this to dry and cure, obviously. Um, not too bad. Um, this may be a little bit too shiny, but um, it'll probably dull down once it dries and I think it'll look a lot better. But um, right now we just gotta wait and see how it turns out. Alright, here we are now. It's got six or seven coats of paint on it. I think it looks really good. Um, you know, it, it basically looks like a brand new transmission now. And, uh, you know, as we saw when we were rebuilding it, it basically has brand new gears. It looks like it was rebuilt recently. Uh, and now it's got the M Factory LSD in it, so it's not going to blow apart every time I'm trying to drive it down the road. So that's really good. All right, guys, that's it for the new episode. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please let me know what you think about the new format in the comments below. Uh, we're very interested to see what you guys think about it. Um, and then also keep in mind we're on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, so if you're curious about anything that's happening, whether it's with the build or uh, with any of our car features and stuff, uh, we typically post on Instagram before we actually put the video up on YouTube, um, you know, because we're taking pictures with our phones well before we get the video uploaded. So go ahead and check us out there um, if you're interested in seeing any more of us. Uh, thanks again for watching, and uh, we'll see you next Friday.